the Cowboys go into this game tonight with Washington at three and eight and still there are some people at Valley Ranch and they're not alone thinking about their playoff chances level with me. What are my chances? Not good. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance. Uh, it's not much of one, but despite the three and eight record, the Cowboys do have a chance to be a playoff team. And I think that says a great deal more about the NFL than it does the Cowboys. They haven't won a game without Tony Romo playing quarterback in five years, and now they think they can win five in a row. So despite the broken collarbone his second this year, they're not putting Romo on injured reserve so that he'll be eligible for the playoffs. If not the first round, the NFC Championship game. The men in charge of making the football decisions for this team are making plans for the NFC Championship game. The NFL is drug testing the wrong people at Valley Ranch. If the Cowboys don't make it to this Super Bowl this year, and I'm thinking they won't, it will be 20 years since they have. There are kids in college now who have grown up never knowing how good the Cowboys used to be, and the reason they're not, I blame one man. A lot of you tell me Jerry Jones is a great owner, and he's just not. Great owners hire great people and let them do their jobs, like Clint Murkison did, like Robert Kraft does. You can't be a great owner if you hire Jerry Jones to be the general manager. Oh, he wants to win. He's willing to spend money to win. He'll sign any player despite any problems they have. And while some of you think there's a certain virtue to that, I'm quite comfortable being one of the few who says there's not. I like Jerry Jones. I always have. And the main reason I do is because I know how generous he can be, how much he actually cares about and supports the people around him. If his longtime assistant Marilyn Love and former ticket manager Carol Padgett, two of my favorite, all-time favorite people, if they like him, then I know there's something good about that man I tend to overlook. I just don't understand how he can be so good and so smart at making money and such a lousy general manager. I don't hate Jerry Jones, and I certainly don't hate the Dallas Cowboys, even though the lovely Mrs. Hansen has said to me too many times, I act like I do. But when they were winning years ago, a lot of you thought I was simply a cheerleader like too many reporters are now. But I'm critical of the Cowboys because of what my junior high basketball coach taught me a long time ago. I walked out of practice and quit the team one day because I was tired of him yelling at me and being so critical of every mistake I made. He took me from class later that day and told me in the hallway, I yell at you and I criticize you because I want you to be great. And more importantly, I think you can be. The other guys I don't yell at much because I think they're about all they're ever going to be. Some people tell me now that Jones and the Cowboys are better than Cleveland and Detroit and Jacksonville too. But I don't care much about them because I think they're about all they're ever going to be. I want the Cowboys to be great. And more importantly, I think they can be. I remember when the Cowboys used to be good. I know how they got there, and I know how they managed to stay there. And I absolutely believe, disagree with me if you want, but I absolutely believe I know how they got to where they are now, and I know how they managed to stay there.